Live now from Carl World on this. Carl, on, on just, uh, I know this is an overused phrase these days, the optics. This doesn't look good for Republicans. I can understand their argument. I can understand the need to get a one-year extension rather than two months, how it works out. That's what the president originally wanted. But for the Wall Street Journal and others, they've botched the, the battle plan on this. Yeah. Well, it's hard to, when you don't control the big microphone that the White House has and when you're not willing to demagogue it like we saw Chris Van Hollen just demagogue it. Remember his comment? He said, oh, they want to raise uh, premiums for all seniors. For seniors, he said. Well, what he didn't mention was the Republicans said we ought to pay for this by raising the premiums for wealthier seniors so that people like Bill Clinton and George Soros and Warren Buffett and other wealthier Americans who are seniors have to pay a bigger premium than the working man or working woman who, who's worked all their life and doesn't have as much in the way of assets and income. But as on the core issue, no, your point is well taken, but on the core issue no. of getting something that is really within the DNA of the Republican Party, a tax cut, a one-year extension. Um, Absolutely. This, what they seem to have, I'm not taking sides here, they seem to have grabbed defeat from the jaws of easy victory. Yeah. I think the Wall Street Journal editorial today hit it right on the nail. Now, look, the question now is how do the Republicans get out of it? And there's only one way to get out of it, and that is stay in Washington, wait until President Obama gets on an airplane and heads to Hawaii, and then hold a session of the House, vote the two-month extension, and use as an opportunity to beat up on the now long-absent Democrats and Harry Reid and the absent president and say, look, this is going to cause, this is going to cause, uh, this is going to not be good for the companies that have to write the paychecks, because we've already heard from the people who process payroll, payroll checks that this is going to be a problem. It's not good for the American people because we're only giving them a two months, not a year's worth of confidence. Use it for political theater and then vote the two-month extension and get out of town. They've lost the optics on it, and the only way to win it is to just stick there and ruin their own Christmases and wait until the president heads off to Hawaii for his and then, and then lambast the Democrats for having abdicated their responsibilities to pass a year-long tax cut. But they would be voting for a two-month extension that they could have done earlier, right? How does that make them look? Yeah, but, but but look, they will say they said we made the best effort to try and get what everybody said they wanted at the beginning, which was and then a they, then you could argue they folded this. like a cheap suit, right? Well, you know what, you can, but but it's a lot easier to make the case they stayed and fought as hard as they could if they make a personal sacrifice to be there on whatever it is, Christmas Eve, the 23rd, Christmas Day, whenever President Obama flies off to Hawaii, then let them then let them say, you know what, we, 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 we were hopeful that the president would provide some leadership and force the Democrats to do what, do what uh, they ought to do, which is appoint conferees and negotiate this. And then when they sit down in January, the first thing they ought to do is say, Mr. Reid, Mr. Obama, we could have had this these negotiations in December if you had had the, the, the leadership that America demanded in order to do the negotiating in December rather than after you all hit the, you know, and, and catalog where all these Democrats go on their vacations for Christmas and New Year's, you know, St. Bart's and Paris and wherever they are, catalog right. them and say because you weren't willing to be here and you wanted to be there, the American people now have had their business delayed a month and, and this tax cut, which should have been extended for years, been only extended for two months. But the Republicans have lost the optics of this. I, right. I commend Speaker Benninger for trying to do the best he could on this, but uh, we, we've won we got to find a way to declare victory. Carl, thank you. Good seeing you again. Have a Merry Christmas.